Our weather stays fairly quiet into your Tuesday, other than some drizzle or pockets of sprinkles overnight and temperatures dipping into the mid 30s. But a strong storm is developing off to our west, and it will bring rain, thunderstorms, and wind, and eventually some snow on the back side of it as it makes its way throughout the country, and it will build into our region too. Now, into tomorrow, uh, the big severe weather threat is going to stay in the deep south here across Mississippi, uh, western. Tennessee, eastern Arkansas, and northeastern Louisiana. And that's with this powerful storm that is just developing tonight and will continue to crank up into tomorrow. In fact, we'll push Future Tracker into your Tuesday evening. You can see how these thunderstorms starting to line up uh, from Kentucky southward across Tennessee into Mississippi, Alabama, and Arkansas to our south. But through the night, that rough weather will shift eastward and push more rain and storms in our direction direction here at home. At the same time, our wind will continue to crank up as we get into tomorrow night right on into Wednesday. And that's when this cold front moves through Wednesday morning and that'll pull the temperatures down through the day and uh, bring the chance of some snowflakes around. I'm not expecting a whole lot here at home. The heaviest is going to stay up along the lake shore of northwestern Pennsylvania. That is the snow belt uh, in northwestern Pennsylvania in western New York. That's where the heaviest lake effect will be. Now, as far as wind goes, uh, here's a look at what you can expect into tomorrow evening and night. Very gusty wind that will just get stronger through the night as that storm system moves in. We can see gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour, possibly as high as 40. So that's something we'll be watching into tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning. A very windy start to your day. Showers and even a chance of some thunder around early in the day. And then the temperatures keep dropping through the afternoon. But the gusty wind will stick around. That'll make it feel even colder. In fact, temperatures will be falling back below freezing freezing by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon and evening. And with that, of course, those wind chills will feel a lot colder, too. The wind does settle down on into Wednesday night. So we'll wrap it up and bring it closer to home. The rest of tonight, again, uh, plenty of clouds around. Could be a few pockets of drizzle or some sprinkles around. We'll start your Tuesday in the middle 30s, and then temperatures uh, back in the mid-40s by lunchtime. Still a lot of clouds around. Uh, we'll sneak into the low 50s by afternoon. Uh, wind starts starting to jump up into that 20 mile per hour range later tomorrow afternoon, but picking up through the evening into tomorrow night. The rain should hold off early evening, but late evening toward 10, 11, 12 o'clock at risk of showers and storms start to move in. Any of these storms can produce some uh, brief gusty wind with them into tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning, and that heavier rain threat will stick around too as we start Wednesday morning. And then as that cold front moves on by, it'll sweep out uh, any heavy rain threat with it, drop temperatures quickly, and may even mix over to a few snowflakes before it wraps up into Wednesday afternoon. Otherwise, just a few flurries lingering around uh, behind this storm system on into Wednesday night as those cold temperatures roll on in. So tonight down to 36. Again, uh, just some patchy drizzle or sprinkles. Tomorrow's high temperature 52, a mostly cloudy day, a gusty wind building through the afternoon, but especially into tomorrow night as that storm pushes on by. We will catch a break on Thursday into Friday, although Thursday is going to be cold. It's still a little blustery. Friday highs in the mid 40s. Showers sneak back in Friday night and another gusty day setting up Saturday as yet another cold front pushes through. A chance of rain showers early and a few snowflakes by afternoon as temperatures fall. Another break on Sunday and cooler, and then the next storm system building in for early next week.